You are listening to Wealth Talks, where we talk about solutions, money, and other things that create wealth in your life. John, it's always good to be behind this mic. And uh, we're going to have a special guest again today because we're leading up to the Wealth Summit. And this guest is very dear to my heart because he's, he's a chiropractor. And uh, he's uh, been very, very helpful to uh, myself and your brother, Ben, John. Um, and, and not only just to us, but to uh, a lot of our clients as well because of his great YouTube channel that, that just educates people. Um, I, how many people does he have following him now on YouTube? How many is it now, Dr. Bergman? I think it's uh, almost half a million. That's that, wonderful. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think a few days ago it was 490, 497,000. Wow. That's a big voice. Yeah, it's, and, it's, and still, it's still not enough. <laughs> I mean, we need, there's 7 billion people on the planet. So, Well, you figure that every person um, knows 200 people at least that's going to be at their wedding or funeral. So multiply that number by 200, and that's your reach. So that's awesome. All that right. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to say a, a word here right now, too, because I know, Dr. Bergman, you're going to be talking about brain health at the Wealth Summit. Mm -hmm. And I have two grandparents who are both in assisted living due to brain health issues. So we know what a financial expense that can be, as well as just all the emotion that you're going through, because, you know, it's your family. So, you, you know, all, all of this is very important to wealth, and that's one of the reasons we're really excited to have you speaking at the Wealth Summit coming up. For those of you listening, uh, be sure to get your um, tickets, wealthsummit.net, or call our office, 702-660-7000. Be sure to get those tickets. Dr. Bergman, welcome to the podcast. It's a pleasure to have you. Man, thanks for inviting me. I'm so looking forward to that summit. It's, it's, I, I love it every year. The speakers that you have are out of this world. Well, we try to bring people in, and, and thank you for that comment. As you know, we try to bring in people that are going to provide solutions to people besides just money issues, because money is just one part of wealth. And, um, and what we have really experienced firsthand how brain health can be so devastating to relationships, to um, to the finances, and and it, if that's something that could be prevented by something we can do today, um, that's what we want to hear from you. So, can you give us a little bit of hint about how we're going to how you're going to talk about this at the Wealth Summit, Dr. Bergman? Oh gosh, yeah, I'm so excited for it because. When you look at the brain, the brains are supposed to last for forever. I mean, and I'm going to bring up that human lifespan, a lot of, uh, there's a, a buzz in the medical community that the reason we're seeing so many chronic illness, diseases, dementia, Alzheimer's, is that we're living longer. And that's not true. I've got data that shows that over the last 2,000 years, human lifespan really hasn't changed if you factor out infant mortality. So what's causing the brains to be broken down? Now we're going to look into the enteric brain, and this is the gut function. So, and this is where neurotransmitters are produced, stored, made. And so, and we also have this blood-brain barrier. So we have two things to look at: the gut health and the blood-brain barrier, because the brain has has, I mean, more more neurons, more neuronal connections than there's stars in the sky, and it mm -hmm. functions at a very very specific environment. And anything that damages that environment alters how those nerves are functioning. But also the exciting part is that you can regenerate neurons and neuronal connections. So you can start to reverse some of the damage that's occurred. Oh, that's exciting. That is. And what I'm hearing you say for our listeners, you out there, is that, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Bergman, but maybe what we're eating or what we're not eating or some of the environmental toxins that we're being exposed to are causing some of these uh, brain uh, traumas and injuries that, that we're seeing in Alzheimer's and Lewy body dementia and maybe ALS and Parkinson's. Is that what I'm hearing? Absolutely. And, and it's interesting because it's not just the chemicals. I mean, obviously, if you put some neurotoxins like uh, monosodium glutamate, which is in most fast foods. Uh, and if you, but also antibiotics, mm -hmm. 
Mm. And there's a mm. lot of properties of standard medications that they're giving these people. And, and when a body's under stress, they have um, this adaptive response, which elevates blood pressure, elevates blood cholesterol, elevates blood sugar. And all of these are clues that the body is under stress. However, in our society, we have this idea that lowering blood pressure and cholesterol and blood sugar without addressing the cause is a good thing, and that's not. We're going to see how a lot of the standard medications are leading to altered a gut function and altered brain function as well. And it's not just the neurotoxicity. There's sensory aspects in the gut that, um, well, here, here's a good example. And there's a nerve called the vagus nerve that exits out of the brain stem that supplies the nerve supply to the whole gut. 80% of that nerve has sensory input. So anything you put in the gut mm. it, it affects the brain, not just chemically, but electrically. There's and this can alter the the um, the response to the environment and that's that's what beginning dementia is. Oh my! Wow. You know you're 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 hitting on a on a really um, a, a chord here with me because years ago I as a as a chiropractor I was practicing and I had a patient who owned a feedlot for cattle and he bought the manure from the poultry house that raised fryers down the street because there was so much protein left in the sawdust shavings after the, after the chicks had been raised and butchered in three and a half weeks. And I said, I didn't know cows would eat that kind of stuff. And he says, well, cows will eat about anything if they're hungry enough. The problem is we have to give them antibiotic shots every two weeks to keep them from dying from the contamination that they're eating. God, I'm I'm getting hungry just when you're talking like that. <laughs> that is gross. That is gross. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> some people don't realize that they're being exposed to antibiotics, even though they might not be taking them themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, it, isn't that crazy that that we're not looking at the health of the animals that we're putting in our system? Because what we eat becomes us. Absolutely. Uh, there, they're even, and they, they have this type of corn that's used only for cattle feed. It's called BT corn, and it's a corn that the pollen is actually poisonous to insects. Uh, and they're finding this in umbilical cords now. Oh, no. And so that means that this corn that was meant just to feed cows survived the cow's digestion, got embedded in the meat, survived the cooking, survived the mom's digestion, and now it's in the kids. So we're affecting multiple generations by doing things that, that aren't in harmony with our environment, but it's, it's crazy. Wow. So I'm seeing more than one wealth connection here because uh, a lot of these practices uh, on feeding uh, on livestock and animals for human consumption have to do with money too, only it's on a greed side rather than um, building something that's sustainable for future generations. Absolutely. And, and your solutions for wealth Wealth accumulation, wealth management, I mean, it, it's awesome, but we have to be alive to, to enjoy it. And if you're in a wheelchair or forgetting your relatives or you're not mobile, you're not appreciating life, that, that, that's not a good deal. Oh, that's so true. And that's why we here at Life Benefits realize that, you know, wealth isn't just about money. It's about relationships. It's about being healthy. It's about being able to live, not just being alive. And um, and we're so excited that you're going to be on uh, uh, the platform at, at this at this Well Summit. You also do something very unique for your patients and all your listeners out there on YouTube and whatnot. You do an annual cruise. Can you tell us a little bit about that cruise, Dr. Bergman? Oh, buddy, it is so much fun. In fact, I have this brilliant wealth management guy. His name's uh, Dr. Uh, McPhee, have you have you heard of him? Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> yes, you're going to be speaking there. I mean, I just hanging with you. But it, this, this year we're going to, in the Caribbean. We're going uh, out of Florida. We're going to Cozumel and then Havana. And while we're on the ocean, we leave in March next year. There might still be some cabins there. People, if they want to join, they can go to my website, uh, drjohnbergman.com. And there's a way to sign up there, uh, but it, it's so much fun. We teach when we're only at sea. 
but you get to hang with these these the speakers and you know pick their brain just just hang out and for for me it's fun because i invite people that i like to talk with and hang out with and you get a totally different perspective on life plus well, it's fun it is fun and we've been on several of those and we're looking forward to joining you again this year and uh, uh this year we're we're going to cuba that's that's going to be interesting so it's uh yeah, no, the, the, there's Are one you? place. Uh, you, we were our, our family was just going through the Mob Museum here recently in Las Vegas, and I did not realize that the mob had such a connection to Cuba. When the communists came in there and were gaining power, they kicked the mob out, and they weren't very happy about that. That was uh, so, some interesting things financially happening there. <laughs> Seems like... Isn't it wild? <laughs> oh, it, it, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of casinos there now that are government-run. Uh, but oh, just there's such a mystery around Havana, and we're since they've just recently opened up the borders, we're one of the first few cruise ships down there over the last couple of years. So we're hitting it just when before it gets spoiled. <laughs> okay, all right, interesting. Well, is there anything else that uh, you would like to leave our listeners with to, today, Dr. Bergman? Maybe someone's sitting on the fence and deciding whether they should really take the time to be there present at the Well Summit, or maybe you just have some other piece of advice for them. One of the best things to do is uh, when, when you want to be successful, you hang out with successful people. We're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, and one of my, my uh, the people who I admire, his name is Dr. Jim Sigafus. Find somebody that that is successful, that has achieved what you want to achieve. Smell them. Wear their cologne. Eat what they're eating. Do what they're doing, and you'll achieve the same. And that's what these sum summits are. You're going to meet so many people in the audience that look like regular, normal people, but they have life. I mean, when you're talking success, they're successful in health. They're successful in wealth, family relationships. They, they, they're approaching life with a totally different um, confidence, it's completely different than the standard society. And you're not going to find groups of people like this everywhere. The, the fact that this is going on uh, now, it, it, it should, <laughs> it, it's, it's like, duh, you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we, we do have an amazing group. Uh, all of you who come to the Wealth Summit, it's, it is an amazing group, the success that is represented there, and how, how everyone is always willing to share with the, the new people attending. It's always, uh, it's always amazing and humbling to us. And the long-term friendships that come from that, that's real wealth, too, is those sure long-term relationships that are built yeah. here. So, so those of you uh, who are wanting to come to the Wealth Summit, go to wealthsummit.net to get your tickets or call our office, 702-660-7000, and we will look forward to seeing you there. It's going to be a great time. Well, Dr. Bergman, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us uh, today for this uh, special podcast. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you ag again here in October. And, uh, of course, Ben and I will be seeing you soon for another adjustment. So thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll be back here next week on Wealth Talks. You are listening to Wealth Talks where we talk about solutions, money, and other things that create wealth in your life. 